What's going on YouTube? Today we got a mid fade tutorial for y'all, a fire fire mid fade tutorial for y'all. So if y'all haven't already, make sure I hit the thumbs up button just to kick this to uh, set the video in the right in the right direction. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna wet the hair, damp the hair. We're gonna take we're gonna like freehand it with the shears and take it down about an inch. So we're gonna get all the hair damp and we're gonna comb the hair out, making sure everything at the nice um, you know, just picked out comb combed out, prepping the hair, getting it ready for um for the chop that we about to do. Getting all the taking all this curls out. And y'all, as I'm going through this process, I'm still kind of new and stuff. You know, I'm in school for it. I'm still I'm still learning, so. If you got any tips for me, let me know in the comment section. If you if you if you're experienced, or maybe you have a little bit of knowledge about it. So we did right there. We just section the hair, and then we put the rest of the hair in clamps. And that's gonna be our first guideline. We're gonna set our first guideline guideline, and with that hair, um, with the hair that we just sectioned out of it. So what we do, what I've learned in school, what I've learned from other videos, is that when you do the when you um do the sectioning and you cut the hair down. What I'm doing right here is I'm just picking that hair up and cutting it about a, a inches length off. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that hair and move on to the next section with some of the hair that, it, that is clamped up. And I'm just going to keep doing all that till we reach the back of the head and all the hair is like at the desired length. And as y'all can see, man, I'm moving about as slow as a turtle, bro. Man, I'm still learning. I'm still getting used to all this. But you know, this is going to make us better. And I'm record all of it while I'm doing it. I'm not going to try to hide nothing or anything and act like I'm just like the best in the world. Because I'm not. I still got a lot of things I need, I, need to, um, I need to learn about. But I do know what, my, what I would like for my cuts to look like. I do have examples inside my head. So we, we, all we're doing is just getting to that point. We're going to slowly work to that point. Just like I've been doing. I've been really cutting hair for about a year, for real. Uh, like a year and like, I guess you could say like a year and six months or whatever. And I've, 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 I've had a drastic change in my in, in haircutting. If y'all go follow my Instagram and y'all look at like, I think it's like the first three videos I have it pinned. And y'all can see like the transformation that I had within like a year and some months of cutting hair. And we and we we just gonna keep we just gonna keep pushing to it till we get that look that we want. But right now, all I'm doing is combing her hair up because that's what that's the type of style that I'm gonna have it in. And I'm just drying all the hair up, getting getting it ready and prepped for us to um to get our clippers in there. Alright, right here we're gonna take our babyless and we're gonna set in our first guideline, our first ball guideline. And right here, as you can see his head shape, what I'm gonna do is kind of kind of slope it down or kind of bring it down in the back. It's still a mid fade, but I'm doing it to um, you know, cause cause I, I feel like his head shape and the way that his hair was um initially parted from like like his previous ball ball or whatever. I just feel like I have to slope it down in the back just to give it like a, a better look, just to fit his head better, his head shape a little bit better. And when y'all setting in that first initial ball guideline, um, see how I'm flipping the clippers over? Like I'm, 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 I don't have the blade pressed down, like with the, with the, I say the top of the, the top of the clippers. I don't have it turned towards his face or his skin. Like if he was, um, like if like how I'm doing it right, right then and there. Like how I'm doing it right now. Some people do it that way, or some people do it the other way, where I was removing all the um, 
the rest of the hair from off of his um, neck like how it is right now. Some people do it that way. They have two ways you can do it. Some people don't like doing it the other way. The way is the way you would um, have it if you was to do the lineup like that. Because it sets a hard guideline. But if you know how to take the guidelines out, it's good to it's good to set a hard guideline almost. So you can manage yourself and keep um just keep just keep so you wouldn't be able to get lost in your fade, if that makes any sense. It's good to keep those guidelines and be able to see those guidelines. Once you get a little bit more skilled and further down into your career, then you can start doing it the other ways because you'll have a um a image inside your head remembering where your guidelines were set at. And right now I'm cutting the hair down on the sides to my desired length. And right now we got on the 1.5. Oh uh, well, yeah, the one the 1.5 guard, and we just um getting everything down to the desired length. The reason I usually do a one guard, but the reason why I didn't do a one guard because his hair is so loose. And if I was to cut it down with a one guard, it'll probably look like he'll have no hair nowhere at all. With looser hair, you tend to have to um, change up your tactics a little bit and go with uh, a higher guard than what you're used to, if you're used to cutting coarse hair. Now right here, we got our lever all the way open on our wall scenes, and we're sending our second um, guideline. Now right here, we're taking out that second initial guideline that we had just set in. And we're just going to keep notching our, our lever down all the way to get close. Because close is um, next to baldness, which we had there with our first guideline. But right here, I'm just taking that line out because I feel like it helps me not get lost in my fade as much. You know? So going ahead and knocking out that line is probably the best thing to do when, you, when you're starting off your fade process. Most people like to make all the guidelines first and then work um, down and then up. What I do is I make my second guideline, I take that out, and then I make all my guidelines and I start fading down. And it just helps me with the process a little bit more if I was to um, just do it all the way up, fading up or fading down. And that's really all it is to fade and you just have to find a process that works for you or a system that works for you and techniques that work for you. Um, you can watch other barbers and tips from other barbers, but don't don't watch too many barbers and don't try to take too many tips. I would say, because then you'll try to do your fading process and then add their fading process in there, and then you're gonna get lost in your fading. And you're gonna be trying to do their techniques and your techniques at the same time. So just um take little bits and pieces of um from everybody or the barbers that you think are fire. And just add it to your own, make it your own. And then once you get your own, once you get something that's working for you, just stay with that. It's best to stay with that. So you can perfect that. Because everybody, everybody go for the same look. Um, somebody else could be doing the mid fade, but they got their own techniques and they got their own ways. As long as you're getting the end product and you're satisfied with your end product, then everything good. But right here, we just slapped on our one guard and we made that third initial guideline. And we on, we only going up about an inch's width. And if you haven't already, make sure y'all like and make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feeling about the cut so far. Is it is it gonna turn out fire or is it just an average cut? Now with our 3 16th guard, or our one and one half guard all the way open, we're gonna set in our fourth initial guideline. 
and because I, 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 I cut everything down with this guard right here I know that there's no higher guard that I could that I, that I could put on that can make another guideline so just in a few moments we're gonna do this in, in, in just a few moments we're gonna take our two guard the next guard higher than this guard right here and we just gonna run over the top and we gonna um we're gonna dismiss all that bulk up top and I know that for a fact that I could do that because this is the um the guard that I cut the, the whole entire hair down with Now, as you can see here, we get our number two guard and we're dismissing all that bulk from up top. We're not cutting into his top up top that we um sectioned out and that we cut down, but just the side of the fade. We're just removing the bulk from the side of the fade so it can look nice and blended. All right, now we're gonna swap up to our 316 guard again, and we're only gonna use the edge of our clippers, and we're gonna close it three fourths of the way. That's with the lever all the way open, but just a little bit closed. Imagine the imagine the lever having a three click system like like the Babyliss, like the click system that the Babyliss got. But I'm using a wall wall senior, so we don't have I don't have no click system. I just have to rely off my um my memory. And all we're doing is just, we're just fading down now and we're just taking them lines out. Now we have an all one guard and we're moving down to that to that third guard line that we had set in and we just notching it. We just notching at it with the edges of our clippers and we're taking them lines out. And we'll keep doing that all the way, all the way down. We're gonna put on our half guard. That's the first guard, the smallest guard that come in the pack. And we're gonna move down to that, that, that second guard line that we had put in. And we're just gonna take all that out. And y'all let me know if y'all learning anything from this video. Um, I'm just starting now, so I, I do I do think my um my cuts are YouTube valuable for the most part. I think that my cuts, all my cuts, if I did it today, I, I could do it better. I could do them better. But I'm pretty sure like six months from now, I probably could do this cut way better than what it looks like. It's just the process of becoming a, a, a better barber. But I know that my words, when they come out, they do get all um clustered up and they don't come out right but I, I just like to leave all that in now you know because I'm gonna look back on this video or uh, my previous videos and I'm be like dang I didn't got way better I can see the progress that I've that I've been uh been through in my career but y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think Now right here, as you see, as you can see, the fade came out real nice, and all we're doing is setting our ver vertical bars, and we're making a lineup. We're not gonna give him a full lineup, just the vertical bars on the side. And me looking at my own haircut, I personally think that I could have took taken my my one guard and blend it up a little bit more, or my my three sixteen guard and blend it up a little bit more on the left side. You know, as we look back at our work as barbers, we gonna we gonna find our mistakes and we gonna we gonna learn from it. We gonna keep going. We gonna push through. See, I'm gonna still post this video regardless if I if I feel like I need I need more work on it or not. It's just a process. 
and right here I'm, this is my second um styling thing style this is styling powder that i added in before i added in like a moisture like a pomade type like a dry matte pomade type stuff and all we're doing right here is just styling it to our like to our liking Y'all, this the cut before he was looking pretty rough. He had a he had a lot a lot of hair. This was this was a fire transformation. And this the after. As y'all can see, we transformed though. He he looks a lot better than what he did when he came when he came in. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell if y'all new to the channel, so y'all can keep updated on our cuts and when we post. I try to upload weekly or every two weeks. I know I'll be I'll be I'll be capping with that sometimes, but you know we're gonna try.